Hello, and welcome to Geek at Play Studio Tutorials. And I want to show you something interesting. You can create very fast and achieve interesting and new effect. So something that's maybe look familiar, but just stay with us to the end. So let's create cylinder first. So we'll expand. Go right here maybe. And you know what? Let's decrease sections, maybe to two. And we'll increase this one to 24 because I want to have it a little bit smooth. Press enter. So here's our cylinder, but I want to also add a thickness. We'll go to the surface modeling and click on a thickness tab. Also be sure we set it on an internal and let's create this way. Press enter to validate and there we have it our first circle. So let's create another one. But this one I want to create a path for this. So we'll go to lines, we'll go to circle from center, I'll just create one about this big, okay, let's rotate around, drop on the ground, this is will be path for our circles. So next what I want to do, it is select our first circle we created, let's now going to um, utilities, click copy on support, and I click on this path. So we kind of done this before. Maybe make smaller 0 0.8. Okay, it's look about right. So other ones, let's take again this circle, rotate perpendicular, and again click copy on support and click on this one. If again if yours doesn't align properly, just click through the different alignment and I want to X on the um, path, click again, enter, well, I'm just lightly rotating so they can appear right here. So next what I want to do is just delete what we don't use it, so we'll click this one, we can delete the curve, and here you have it, our chain, so let's select one group, okay, all of them, press Control G to group them together, and here you have it your, uh, if you want chain, you can use it on anything you want. But you know what? Any simple things, what is a beauty about 3D application, it's kind of have it some other life, even if you expand more. For example, let's do on this one, let's go to select band. Okay. And now let's go all the way around and just go up to here maybe. Let's press enter to validate this one. And if you look, you have it now very unusual cylinder with very interesting shapes. And you can use it maybe for some futuristic stuff or whatever you like it. And again, this is all what's taken. Some very usual apply different deformation and you can create more imaginary objects, unique looking, um, I don't know what it is, buildings, jewelry, whatever you can imagine. Okay, so try to go around, explore the hexagon tie to create some unusual objects and uh, play around with them with the different tools. So the more you know, the better creativity you will have. Okay, and thank you for watching this short tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. Please come visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com.